Hello, hello. Yes. Hello guys, this is Dark Hazer, and okay, and this is, no, no one cares, <laughs> I'm just kidding, I care, but this is my, my pre-stream of uh, Halo the Master Chief Collection, so I'm showing you gameplay of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare on Xbox One, so I got it digitally, I took advantage of the digital upgrade, I got it on 360 and then upgraded to Xbox One, it was kind of you know, delayed and all, but I got it. So I'm level 13. I took advantage of the day zero and day one XP. So I played a, a bit on both consoles. And I've been playing quite a bit of uh, of classic, you know, without the EXO movements and all. But anyway, welcome to my pre stream of Halo the Master Chief Collection with gameplay of Advanced Warfare. So I will just be talking about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, and uh, yeah, this is streaming at 720p, 30 frames per second. I'm using the in-game capture card that's in the Xbox One, so forgive me for not, uh, you know, meeting the demands. <laughs> but anyway, um, let's get started. Let me unsnap this app. There you go. So, what was I going to do? Oh. Oof. Start a party. So uh I, I, I won't be like talking to myself. Make party invite only because I'm too lazy. Did I make it invite only? There you go, invite only. Unsnap. Okay, so let's get started. I will be playing just regular, uh, just a regular playlist. I'll be playing Ground War right now. I haven't started the campaign yet, but I just wanted to show you multiplayer gameplay because that's the main attraction of Call of Duty. It's multiplayer. So what, let me give you my thoughts so far on this game. It's it's similar to Titanfall, the the overall game. When it comes to fast pacedness, when when it comes to being fast paced, it's very similar to Titanfall. But I believe it's more fast paced than Titanfall because in Titanfall you can only do so much with your pilot suit. You you don't float, you just jump, double jump, that's it. But it in this one you get to float more in the air because of the movements. It seems like that you get more air time in this game than in Titanfall. So I, I think it's it feels more fast-paced than Titanfall because you're, you 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 get to fly around this game. In Titanfall, you don't really get to fly around. You just go to go you just go to um you just get to run on the side of walls in Titanfall. This game, you don't get to do that. Get out there and earn your paycheck. No double XP. See? Double jump. See? You float more in the air. Oh, I got. Oh, I got first blood. You saw that? Ha ha. I got it. Shoot. Oh, no. Sorry, I'm playing in my room right now. I usually play in my living room, but right now, no. Oop, it's this. Oh, rock rabbit punch. Um, 
Yeah, it seems this game seems more fast paced than previous Call of Duty games, so it's different. But if you play classic mode, it's kind of a return to that, to uh, to classic Call of Duty. Because uh, honestly, to me, Call of Duty Ghosts, it was balanced. I'll give them that. It was kind of balanced, pretty balanced. You still died easily. That's typical Call of Duty. They didn't really, you could, didn't really have the ability to shoot down any like air support. Because the air support kind of wasn't really overpowered like in Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3. But... It wasn't really fun. But, I don't know, to me, some unbalance and the use of it is fun. kind of is. It sucks for the recipient, but it's, it's fun for the, you know, the user. <laughs> right? Right? Am I right? I'm right, aren't I? But... This game, I don't know. Maybe there's some balance. This this gun has no recoil. That seems pretty cheap. But it takes a while to kill with this weapon. That's the thing. So it's easy to use, but they take a lot of quite a bit of bullets, to be honest. But anyway, um, yeah, Call of Duty Ghost wasn't really that fun to me. It really wasn't. <laughs> I had more fun in uh, Black Ops 2, and Black Ops 2 was great. I li I really like Black Ops 2. Shoot, I had more fun in Modern Warfare 3 and 2, and Black Ops 1. Heck, because I found more replay value in those games. Ghost was probably the least I played of a Call of Duty game. Maybe because of Battlefield 4, because Battlefield 4 was pretty awesome. I really enjoyed Battlefield 4, despite the the bugs and all online. I still enjoyed it. See this gun doesn't really have recoil. You can rapid fire it like in Battlefield. You can rapid fire it's a three shot. Oh, got it. Got him. Whoa! Okay. No commando here. I, I've never experienced commando in this, in this game because the punches they don't lunge towards like kind of like in de in density they kind of lunge towards see look there's no commando of course it's an insta kill and all but it's still not commando so that's good but you know of course it's always fun to get killed right what the oh I got him oh we got one guy Got a bunch of guys back here. Okay, we got him. Ooh, ready! UAV. Shit, I need another weapon. Oh, this one. Got him. Ah! I like the score streaks, though. I really enjoy score streaks. UAV is online. Come on. Oh, okay, that's cool. It's part of my uh, score streak. I like I like score streaks more than kill streaks because I suck. But I don't like the fact that score streaks reset when you change a class because in my classes I usually have the same score streak anyway. But I understand where they're going because you know different and blah 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 like that. All the other crud. Let me use it. I honestly don't know how to use this, really. I, I've used it before. I sucked with it, so. See? I suck at it. So. What a waste. Oh! Still got him. What the? Oh, the shotgun. Is the air shotgun thing? Oh shoot! Ah! Oh, I didn't even get to use it. Ah, uh, whatever. Um, I've saw this. I've seen the story. I've seen the cutscenes, all of them. CG cutscenes. I don't mind CG cutscenes. I really don't. But it just kind of like creates this inconsistency shots, between the in-game cutscene and the between in-game engine and then. You get the CGI. It creates an inconsistency. I prefer, 
I, I'm fine with CG cutscenes. They look fantastic. They're supposed to. But, like, I would like to see, like, Metal Gear Solid 4, like, how there was a smooth transition from cutscene to gameplay. Because the cutscenes are using the in game engine, and that takes up a lot of memory on the disc in the game. So, I understand why they would have to uh, use CG cutscenes instead, because of. How long? Okay, I heard this is limited. I'll use it anyway. Man, I want to get another one. Like, do I have, like, a better one? How do I get these? Like, whatever. Um, but I'm fine with CG cutscenes. I, but a smooth transition would be nice. So we'll play one more of Ground War, and then we'll move on to Classic and see how that is. I'll show you how it is. Um, yeah, let's choose a random. Yeah, I don't really like these. <laughs> um, but I've s seen the story. It's an interesting story. I'll give them that. I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> private. Uh, it takes on a current issue about private military companies. It's true. There, there is an issue about private military companies because a lot of countries are hiring private military companies to do their to fight their wars for them. Even the United States has a has or had, I guess, had a bunch of mercenaries in in Iraq, in even Afghanistan, but mostly Iraq since official uh, United States military troops left. They handed they handed it over to uh, mercenaries, and mercenary companies require a lot of government oversight because you know you don't know what those those companies will do. And I understand that. Like, like uh, with Black Ops 2, they took on the issue of drones, basically. Like how President Obama right now, the U.S. president, is is using drones. He's using drones back. to fight our wars. It's uh, it's drone wars. Down. And it take and Black Ops 2 takes place in the 2020s. This takes place in the 2050s. So. Maybe mercenary companies will become a bigger deal, bigger thing, but I don't think so. I don't think they will. I think they'll play a part, but I don't think they'll grow this big. But uh, I, they're, they're just tackling the issue. And I freaking heard a... I actually just watched the GameSpot Daily News uh, video about how the... Co I think co-founder of Sledge Iron Games like said like oh um, tackling some some uh, current issues aren't good for Call of Duty game, like uh, genocide or ISIS and yeah I get that because you that's sensitive stuff right there that's uh, war is sensitive itself but that kind of thing is sensitive because especially when it comes from extreme Islamic terrorists ISIS or ISIL or is the Islamic State might be offensive towards Muslims. So I, I understand where he's coming from. Well, he didn't really say that stuff, but I would presume that that's why um, that wouldn't fit. But anyway, um, Call of Duty Ghost, it, I don't think it really, I don't think it really captured a, a took on a current issue, but the only thing I come up with is a rising superpower. That's what it tackled. Like, a rising superpower against the United States and then a takeover and all that. I think that's what it would tackle. And then, uh, of course, Call of Duty Ghosts was like a was like a reference to the original Call of Duty's campaign, Call of Duty 4 campaign. But anyway, um, yeah, it seemed like it tackled the issue of a rising superpower, like rise up against the United States, like a uh, hegemony. Like, this is the hege hegemonic uh, world system right now with the U.S. calling the shots, the U.S. in charge. It's not a one-war government, but it's close to one because the United States is a supreme po superpower, the only one. But you got a rising superpower, and then when it's close to the level of the current superpower or about the level, it fights to overthrow it. But Okay, that's my political science nerd in me. <laughs> so, um, anyway... Um, okay. So this campaign, yeah. Private military companies. That gives you something to think about, really. Fight. We're losing this fight. Oh. Ah! 
I suck at this game, so it's okay. Shit. Enemy UAV online. Whoa. Ouch. <laughs> You got him. No! See what I mean? A lot of fast gameplay because you get to like do all this evasive movement and all that. Aw oh, man. But it still feels like Call of Duty. It really does. Oh, Call of Duty has always been fast paced. It really has, but. But this one brings it faster. Enemy UAV above! Got him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? Uh oh. What? Aw, oh, man. I was really looking forward to going to the next part of the map. That's what I. That's what's cool. Like, some of these maps. Or maybe only this one. I don't know. But, like, it has two different areas. Like, it's kind of like Rush from Battlefield. But, yeah. Like, different areas. Like,. It's timed too, so that's cool. Woo, rank 15. Cold blood. Ooh, yes. Finally. Okay, get out of here. So I can play a different uh, one. Let's see. Cold blooded. What's this one? Hey, give me that. How come I can't unlock it? Can I not unlock it? When do, do, you, do you know when it unlocks? Shoot, dude. I don't know when it unlocks. Let's see. Um, immune to thermal. Nah. I honestly like blind eye more. <laughs> Nah, take less explosive. I think this would fit it. Yeah, this one would fit it. Okay. Oops. Yeah, I prefer Semtex. Do that. See? Oh wait, hold on. Let me edit my score streaks. Cause I told you, like m my s my classes, they usually have the same score streak. I want it like really consistent. Cause I prefer to like have a class that's you know, you know, invisible basically, so I won't get hit by <sighs> UAVs or something. Oh, okay, that's cool. Personalize. Already have gold. Which one? Oh, okay, so it does count. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, I, I do like the that how they uh put in the system like Black Ops is a uh, pick pick ten like that up there, like it says twelve out of thirteen. I really like that. I really like that about Black Ops too. So I'm glad they're taking notes from the other Call of Duty developers. I'm really glad. Okay. That's jacked up. Right. <laughs> Let's play Domination. Classic Domination. And show you Call of Duty Advanced Warfare without exo movements.
Anyway, um, so am I really liking Advanced Warfare so far? Yes, I am. It's Call of Duty. It's it's probably fun like the first, the first uh, two months, and then it gets horrible, or the first four months. I don't know, and then and then you start to hate it. Come on, it's Call of Duty. I I already said my freaking uh, rant about uh, people being being rude online on, on the, my Destiny stream, my Destiny video. So you can watch that. But I am enjoying it. I am enjoying it so far. It's fun to play and all that. Ah, man, why is it taking so long? It's like no one on it. Let's play classic team deathmatch. Maybe we'll have better uh better chance of finding someone. There's like nobody want to play classic. Classics classics the best. No, not really. I, classic feels like typical Call of Duty. I I like it. It's a comfortable feeling. It's familiar. So yeah, I am I am enjoying this game. It's fun. I like the fast-paced movements and all that. How you get more maneuverability. But I don't know. Just I for weapons, man. Why can't there be like a M16 or something? Cause that will take me back. I don't know. This seems the closest to M the M16. Like or a M4, you know, without the top, the top sight. Oh well. Wait, there's more. Oh shoot! How do I unlock these? Wait. No, I don't want to copy and paste. Paste that crud. Nope. <laughs> wow, does really no one really want to play? Making me sad. Density app update on my phone. So, what do you guys think of uh, Advanced Warfare? Is it do you like it? Is it fun or something? You decide. Put it on the comments below or something. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Twitch, this highlight or past broadcasts. You know, you could. Um, is there a comment section? I don't know. <laughs> I don't really stream that much, and I'm just. Preaching for Halo. I am very excited for Halo. I can't stress that enough. Like, I re keep on rewatching that mega preview and the eight the eight PC map videos on IGN, 60 frames per second. Like, oh my gosh, man, I, I can't just contain this excitement. Nobody wants to play. Fine, whatever. Bonus play. That's what they exist. Infected. Okay, let's play Infected. Show you that. Armory. Oh, 30 minutes. Huh. So that's what you do. Does no one want to play? I'm confused right now. Hold on. Let me go. There you go. Let's go back. Okay, will I prestige? Probably not. I I used to prestige a lot. Like I used to pre try to prestige, but I, I stopped at Black Ops Two. Like, I I didn't prestige at Black Ops Two. I didn't want to. I'm like, what what's the point of prestiging anymore? I'd rather just have my stuff and uh you know um be unstoppable. So Modern Warfare Three, I really wanted to prestige all the way to the top. That's what I wanted to do, but I didn't. Modern Warfare Three was fun and all, but didn't really have that much incentive to play much more. Anyway, um, I probably won't prestige. I'll have to see about it. But oh, uh, here's my gripe, gripe about Call of Duty Ghosts. I didn't. Okay, I understand why they did that squad thing for Call of Duty Ghosts, where you have multiple characters. But it's good for that squad fight thingy, whatever. But uh, man, I I. 
I found it hard enough to level up. Because I didn't really enjoy ghosts. I really didn't. And that squad thing, like, oh, I have to mo have multiple characters. I should prestige them all and then blah, blah, blah. That takes a lot of time. And Ghost was a bit of a disappointment to me. But I, I, I guess I still play from time to time. But anyway, eh, I probably won't prestige. I'll have to see if there's any incentive. I haven't checked out the prestiging yet. Why does, why is this not working? Is my, my internet is fine. Maybe it's because of where I'm playing from. I'm playing from my room. No! I want to play. I'm sorry if this is a boring video. Just watching me trying to log in with my um, with my Walmart connection. Nice no, game. It's not a Walmart connection. It's a uh, Verizon Files. It's Verizon Files, but. I just have kind of a weak signal in my room, and I can't put a wire just yet because I don't have a long enough wire, and then it's just going to go through the hallway and past doorways and all that, so. Can't really do it yet. Where aren't you working? Okay, it's either me or it's a call it's the Activision servers. Might be me. Oh wow, I'm reading right now, um, Advanced Warfare doesn't have dedicated servers. It says on Reddit. Okay, it says Xbox One, it said Defcon 3. Which means most online services are operational, but one or more services may be degraded or offline. That sucks. PS4 is working fine. 360 is fine. PS3 is fine. And PC is fine. Xbox One is the only one experienced problems. That sucks. I guess I didn't really get to show you anything. Hold on. Let's try it one more time. Oh, I can do it now. Yay. Okay, let's see if I could play classic again. I was about to turn on a. Uh, I was about to play campaign, but it's okay. No, I want to play uh, domination. There you go. Finally, there you go. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay, I'm gonna go on a rent right now. Why are there no dedicated servers this generation? Like, a bunch. At least Microsoft and 343 Industries are going to do that with Halo. They learned their lesson last generation. Last console generation. Domination. Okay, here. Last console generation kind of sucked when it came to online. Kind of. Because a lot of, a lot of uh, games didn't have dedicated servers. A lot of multiplayer online games didn't have dedicated servers. And they should have... Okay, see, look. Look, no EXO abilities right now, so it's typical call it old-fashioned Call of Duty. But anyway, um, no dedicated servers last generation, and I think it's because peep the companies thought that people would have good enough internet to host, but that wasn't the case. Sadly, sadly, that wasn't the case. That's a harsh reality. It wasn't the case. Not everybody has a good internet to host. Mostly, everybody probably doesn't have a good internet to host, especially in America. Where we're far, we're far from each other, and Google Fiber isn't everywhere, or Verizon Files isn't everywhere, or even DSL Extreme isn't everywhere. So we need dedicated servers because not everybody has um, strong enough internet, a strong enough internet connection. 
like uh, really fast internet, like high download and upload speeds. Not everybody has that. Not everybody has low ping. A lot of people have moderate, like a moderately high ping or something like that. Or a fair enough amount of ping. Not everybody has good enough internet. There you go. Shoot, dude. That was friendly. Get out of here. <laughs> I got out of there. I think I'm running out of ammo, though. Oh, man. I wanted to kill him. Oh! Get away from me. <laughs> UAV in waiting. <laughs> Friendly UAV above. I need ammo. Shoot. Look at that. We're losing this fight. Oops. <laughs> Shoot. Ah. Yeah. See, slower gameplay. Enemy but, UAV um, above. Yeah. They need dedicated servers this generation. Last generation, most online games didn't have them, and then that caused lag, especially in Halo. Halo was laggy as heck back then. Like, Halo 3, Halo Reach, and then now Halo 4 is pretty laggy, especially Halo 4 when it comes to Spartan Ops. Because it depends on everybody's internet. You got a host, it doesn't matter if he has good internet or bad internet, if at least one person in the game in Spartan Ops has bad internet connection. Everybody lags. So that created like so much lag in Spartan Ops. It's probably the most laggy mode in Halo 4 ever. But anyway, Halo and Spartan Ops was the easiest way to level up. Shoot, I'm like a hundred and level 110 or something or over that. And I have how much double XP tokens do I have? I have like over 50 left. I don't know how I got them. I forgot how I got them. It's probably from some event or something in Halo 4. But that's the easiest way to rank up in Halo 4. Spartan Ops. That's like you just farm XP. But anyway, um, dedicated servers. Yeah, this console generation needs them because last generation was a mistake. They made a mistake with, uh, with not having dedicated servers. Like how... Uh, like our last generation, there wasn't really enough RAM. It was 512 megabytes of RAM. That was high end back then, but later on in the generation, it wasn't as high end. They were limited. But even though last generation was pretty much high end PC gaming, now it's mid range PC gaming for this console generation. And they developers already know the hardware since it's more like a PC. So they, they know how to make games now. They're, they're not really... They're just limited by the hardware. But anyway, um, dedicated servers. Add them, please. Battlefield's doing it. Battlefield's been doing it because Battlefield is more of a PC-oriented game. So thank God for that. And Microsoft is uh, really taking account into that. Thank God. Call of Duty should go back to dedicated servers. Modern Warfare 2 didn't have dedicated servers. That kind of hurt it. There was lag. There was freaking lag. Shoot, you move all over the place in uh, in Call of Duty when it lags. Unlike Halo, it just goes to a black screen a lot of times if it lags. And needs to change hosts. Shoot, the changing hosts in here is kind of annoying in Call of Duty. But at least it's better than ending the game. Like in Call of Duty 4 and World at War. Enemy taking B. Um, okay, let's talk about the console's hardware. This console generation is more like a mid-range PC, ga gaming PC. I'll give him that. So that's good. You got 8 gigs of RAM. DDR5 RAM in the PS4's case, which is faster and better for gaming. Then you got the Xbox One's ES RAM, which is pretty good. But not really that useful yet, I, I think. I'm not, really a, I'm not really a tech guy or PC guy. Well, I am a tech guy, just, you know, I'm not really PC oriented. Oh, I am invisible. Cool. Um, the the APU, which is the combat, which is the CPU and GPU on the same board, the motherboard. 
Um, it should be more powerful, but this is all we got. AMD made both the both APUs for both consoles. We've lost the lead. So if Nvidia did that, they would have bumped up the price to like 600 bucks, or maybe even 800, or even a thousand if they wanted to make it that powerful. And people would just not buy these consoles if there it was if it was a 600 or up. Shoot, 500 or up. A lot of people didn't buy the Xbox One because it was 500 bucks. And the PS3 last generation, the 60 gigabyte version, was 600 bucks, and people were like, "What the heck? That was expensive." Yeah, it was expensive, but it was a pretty powerful system. But pe but developers didn't really know how to develop for it, so that's why they got the sucky ports. But Towards the end of the last console generation, PS3 got freaking good looking games, good running games. Because developers finally knew how to develop for it. But now, now uh, developers know how to develop for these consoles. But th the thing is, they're pretty under underpowered. We can't even reach 1080p 60 frames per second for a lot of games. Forza Motorsport 5, an Xbox One exclusive, and we all know the Xbox One is is less powerful than the PS4. Losing A. That's running at 1080p 60 frames per second. That's an achievement. But you gotta understand how much aesthetics, how much graphics did they lose by trying to achieve that. And this game is running at 1366 by 1080 I think, which is pretty much like 900p. I don't know. But and at 60 frames per second. This is a consistent frame rate on Xbox One. It's more consistent. Okay, they, of course, both versions drop frames, but it's more consistent than the freaking PS4. I, I saw, I've seen PS4 gameplay, and the frame rate is so inconsistent. Shoot, I have Call of Duty Ghost on the PS4. 1080p, 60 frames per second. Well, 60 frames per second, yeah, that's the max, but it's not consistent. I don't know about the Xbox One version of this game when it's running at 720p. Uh, I mean, the Xbox One version of Ghost, 720p, 60 frames per second. I heard it's consistent. So yeah, the, this console may be under more uh, less less powerful than the PS4 and all, but we've got what we got. If Nvidia made it, they would have bumped up the price, and people would not buy these consoles. I would have bought them, but. I wouldn't have bought them as quickly as I would have if the prices were up. Yeah, the 4K is becoming a thing. It really is. It's becoming mainstream. In a few years, it will be mainstream, I believe. And then you got 8K. Samsung already made an 8K TV. It's not on sale. They're just testing it out. Okay, um, let's play, uh, let's play another one. Let's play Infected. Um, 4K is becoming a thing, and then PC gaming, you could run games at 4K, 60 frames per second. Max settings, if you got a powerful enough gaming PC. But, these games can't even run 1080p, 60 frames per second, most of them. They can't. Not consistently, at least. And, I think there would be one more last console generation. And then after that, we'll move on to streaming or PC gaming. We'll just take take a hold again. It's either of those two options. But I think there will be one more console generation. Sony, I don't think they'll make it. I'm not sure if they'll make it. Like, PlayStation is doing great, but Sony itself, they're in a financial situation. Microsoft is in a better situation, but Xbox isn't really selling that much. But... If there would be one last console generation, I hope that all three, Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony will be able to make one more console that's freaking powerful as heck. For, run games at 4K, 60 frames per second, or even 8K, 60 frames per second. Who knows how much the cost will be. It might be still 400 bucks if they could get it down to that price, whoever makes the eight, the GPU and CPUs. Or if they'll have to make it 600 bucks or 800 bucks, I would still buy them. I just infected. wouldn't buy them that quickly. Okay, infected. Let's try this. Survive by any means necessary. Get away from me. Okay, um, 
last, the next console generation will probably be the last if there is going to be a next console generation. If not, we'll move on to streaming games like a like a box, or we will, or PC gaming will just take over. Time what the? Time extended. Time extended. I'll hide here <laughs> and talk about the consoles. So, one last console generation, hopefully. 4K 60 frames per second, that would be very useful. I would like that. 60 frames runs way better. I'm, I'm serious, I'm saying it now. Call of Duty, it doesn't... <sighs> I'm used to 60 frames on Call of Duty, so I don't really have anything to say about it, but when it when you see 60 frames on a game that previously ran at lower frame rate, it's amazing. So this console generation Time extended. Hopefully there will be one more console generation. It'll be nice. Time extended. Time extended. Whoa, I survived. No! <laughs> oh, he got me. Whatever. Oh, they still have the exo ability. Huh? That's cool. Where is he? Over there. Oh, we got him. Squad, that was textbook. Anyway, um, console generation. So, I don't think I'm not sure if Sony will make it because they're really they had to sell off their PC line, basically their their Sony Vio line, in order to survive. And now they ha their their pl their PlayStation brand is successful. But their Sony Xperia line, their smartphone line, is not really as successful. So they either have to sell it off, or they're gonna have to they're gonna have to improve upon it. And and I have advice on improving on it. I have some advice on them for them. They need to. Sony, you're listening? All right, okay. You need to have your phones available to more carriers. Okay, their their phones are only available, were only available on T-Mobile. And then now they're expanding to Verizon, but they need to go out more because AT&T has a huge chunk of the cell phone market or the wireless market. And then Sprint is third. It still has a big chunk, but not as big as AT&T and Verizon. Or Verizon, I mean. Um, so they need to expand to all four carriers, even five carriers, include U.S. Cellular if you have to, like Samsung does. AT and T did did that. They were struggling. AT, I mean HTC was struggling because they kept on having carrier exclusivity. Like HTC One X was AT and T. HTC One S was T-Mobile, and then HTC Evo LTE, 4G LTE, was only Sprint. And now, well, last year. In 2013, the HTC One M7 came out on all four major carriers in the U.S. Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, and T-Mobile. And with the HTC One M8, they're exactly. even doing better. Now they're concentrating on other fields, the mid-range and the low-end market with the HTC Desire line. 
Survive by any means so necessary. now they're doing better than they were before because they expanded. And Sony is pretty do. They have nice smartphones, but I'm an HTC fanboy. But they need to expand to other carriers, and then they could worry about concentrating on other fields, Time like uh, having a better smartphone line or something. Shoot, don't leave me. What the heck? Don't leave me! Shoot. Oh, I saved him. Dude, I like this. Shoot, it scared me. This is like more fast paced than, call than, than Halo infected. Or Flood. Whatever. Whatever they're gonna call it. But anyway, um. I'm not sure if Sony will make it. I hope they'll make it. I really want them to make it. Because I like the PlayStation brand. I prefer Xbox because the Halo and the controller and the service. Shoot, Xbox Live is a way better service than PSN. It, it barely goes down. Xbox Live barely goes down. We're winning this fight. But, um... Um, I hope Sony will make it. And I hope Nintendo will make it too. I don't have a Wii U. I would love to get a Wii U, but it's not my priority right now. My priority is Halo and other games like Assassin's Creed Unity and um, Halo 5 Guardians, which just doesn't come out until next year. <laughs> and um, Grand Theft Auto on PS4. I, I'm actually looking for I'm actually going to get it again. Grand Theft Auto. Ah! No! What the heck? Time extended. That was horrible. Whatever. Time extended. I look like a hazmat suit or something. I don't know, dude. But anyway, um, I hope Nintendo will make it. I want them to make it too. I also want Microsoft to make it because even though Xbox is doing horribly, Microsoft still has money. But I hope there will be one. I don't know if there will be a new Nintendo console anytime soon. I don't know. I'm I'm not sure if I hope that there will be. I'm not sure if I hope for that. Ha! I got him. That's jacked up. Time extended. Where the heck are they? Oh, there are more survivors over here. Interesting. Time extended. Oh, Looks like you just added whatever. a few zeros um, to those bonus checks, gentlemen. Good work. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about a new Nintendo console so soon. I know the Wii U is underpowered. It's like it's last generation hardware, basically. I don't know. Oh, there's me. Look, you saw me. Yep, hazmat suits. All right. Looks like it. Looks like from freaking um from Call of Duty Ghosts, the hazmat suits. But what the heck is this? Like a infected only map? I don't know. Okay, let's get out of here. Can I like leave? Oh, thank you. Okay, um, I, I, I would like a new Nintendo console, but I still want to get a Wii U. But if they do have a new Nintendo console, it has to be very powerful, more powerful than the freaking Xbox One and PS4. Shoot, make it that powerful, and then you'll have these third-party developers and publishers go to it because of the raw power it has of a like a high-end PC gaming PC. If it did that, I would be very impressed and I would probably I might even skip the Wii U if they make it um if if they have their new Nintendo console backwards compatible with Wii and Wii U games. I would skip the Wii U. But if they don't, well, I'm going to have to get a Wii U because I want Smash Brothers and Mario Kart 8 and some other games that I don't really know of. Wait, no, leave. I don't want to play free for all. Huh, that's interesting. Okay, what is this? Hardpoint. Oh, I like hardpoint. It's like headquarters, basically. You get points easily. Capture all flags. No. Let's play this one. Something new. Um, yeah. New Nintendo console. It'll be nice, but... 
I don't. I hope they don't really abandon the Wii U. If they were to, they better make the next co their next console backwards compatible with Wii U games. Just saying, a lot of people are investing a lot in the Wii U. Uplink. Wait, use this one. Take the satellite to the uplink station. Take that. We have the satellite. No! Okay, good. There's instant respawn. Look at that. Uh, it looks kind of bad. It looks kind of bad, dude. <laughs> I'm serious. It doesn't look that as detailed as I, uh, I would hope it would be. Take that. Uh. Oh! No! Ah! I almost got him. Kind of. What the? Whoa! Did you see that? I, I lagged. You saw that, right? Either that or it was some game mechanic or something. No! Oh, let me change my class. Our team has the satellite. This, the shotgun. Oh, this is the air one. Oh, they're they are. Oh, okay. What the? No! What? I shot him. Oh. Oh, shoot, where's he going? Oh. No! Get back here so I can kill you. UAV above. We've lost the satellite. Got him. Wait, what's going on? Oh. The no! Achieved. What the? They're, dude, they have. We're six. They're, we're one to six right now. What the heck? We have the satellite. Go, go, go. This is fun. It's like Griff Ball, <laughs> but with guns. And fat and faster movement. I don't want to say better. I like Halo movement. Ah, oh, they're very strategic. I like that. Go, go, go! <laughs> Shoot! No! Oh, got him. No! Oh, you can still use score streaks. That's interesting. really getting in on, you know what I'm saying? Got him. Can't do you can't go up there? Shoot. Get the satellite At least we scored. Wait, how does the scoring even work? I don't know how the scoring works, whatever. Shoot, it's down there. Enemy no! Aww. Oh well. Oop. There you go. Oop. What 
You don't. You're not gonna throw it. You're just gonna do the slam dunk. Oh well. Half time. Uh, no wonder we're the Mercs. That's why. That's why we're losing. Hey, how do you unlock more like customization? You know, like aesthetic stuff. That's what I'm wondering. Like permanent ones. Heck. We've lost the satellite. Enemy care package incoming. Enemy oh, I forgot. This is our side. Enemy UAV online. Enemy UAV online. Friendly holds the satellite. <laughs> No! Ouch. Wait, where is it? Oh, right there! Go, go! Ah! Oh no, I can't really shoot. Like oh shoot, what the heck? <laughs> that was funny. Oh, what? Enemy has the satellite. Kill him. Satellite Shoot, Semtex. No! Oh my god, I should have passed it. Oh well. The thing about Call of Duty, you get like get caught on something. Well, you don't really get caught on something. You just end up like running against the wall for a while. And you get stuck. Not really stuck because you keep on d doing it until you notice. Well, that's just me. I don't know. Because, like, I'm pretty slow. I have a slow reaction. Shoot. What the? Ah, get him! We're not gonna America! Wait, what happened? Oh, never mind. Wait, I'm the Merc. I don't. I'm not American. Oh, well. It's American company. Go go. <laughs> go, go, go. I'll cover you. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Wait. Oh, no. Satellite dropped. Our team has a satellite. Maybe I should play defense. Oh, what? So do they have a shield or something? No! No! Oh, we- <laughs> You have the satellite. Oh, shoot. We're losing. Of course we're losing. We're mercs. Throw it! Ah! Wait, did I score? Because I don't know if you could throw it to score. <laughs> what the? Get him! Oh man, I feel bad. Maybe I shouldn't have thrown him, but I probably would have died anyway. There were like two or three guys over there. Oh man. Mission failed. Oh well. Lions is not gonna like this. Of course he's not. Mercs. Trolled. Satellite reset. 
Dang, look at those pings. How long have I been playing this? Hmm, not that long. Yee, rank 16! Oh, pistol. It's cool. On my way. Uh, oh, new items. Okay, um. Are those limited? Oh, they are limited! Like, how could I get permanent ones? That's what I'm wondering. Probably use this one. Is there any other launcher? Nope, not yet. Let's play Momentum. That's a new one. I think. Hopefully, it's instant respawn again. Okay, this will probably be my last match. We'll see. Ah, synchronizing game settings. Oh, wait, what happened? What? No! The heck? Oh, well, let's do it again. Wait, was Umplink that? Yeah, it was that. Okay, momentum. New game mode. I am not playing Search and Destroy. If there's one game mode I won't play, it's Search and Destroy. <laughs> oh, man, he left. I want to see him. Oh, I'm host. See what I mean? Hi. Look at his in. What the? <laughs> He's black. Okay, I'm sorry to offend you. I didn't mean to offend you. Bye, a lap. Ooh, whoa. Okay, I thought those were like Flood or something. <laughs> You know, flood from Halo, but I'm like, oh yeah, different universe, different game. <laughs> My gosh, dude. It would have been nice in these Call of Duty games that they made a reference to other Call of Duty games. Like, in Black Ops 2, for instance. Momentum. Like, when, uh, I forgot his name. When he was talking to the Woods in the beginning. Like, Sergeant Woods. Um, Raul Menendez is the most dangerous terrorist since Osama Bin Laden. Okay, he said that, but I, I would have preferred him saying, like, if they were in the same timeline, in the same universe. Sergeant Woods, Raul Menendez is the most dangerous terrorist since Vladimir Makarov. That would that would have been nice. That would have been a nice Easter egg or a reference. Out of bounds. How dare you? What the heck's going on? Whoa. Confused right now. Wait, what happened to my, uh... What happened to my attachments? What the heck? He's jacked up. I'm confused right now. Who's that? Okay, good. Instant reset. No! What's this? Oh, it's a laser gun. Cool! Okay, it overheats. It's unlimited, but it overheats. No! Is there any other one? Is there like a machine gun or something? Ooh. I know later, like, life goes on. What the? No! That's it? Dang. Short game. Okay, we'll play one more match of momentum. I, I still kind of don't know what it works, how it works. It seems like kind of a king of the hill type. Like you try to get up to the or a rush 
from Battlefield, like you try to get up there and then get all the flags, but you could counter back instead. Dang, look at my KDR. What the heck? What happened to my attachments? I believed in you. There you go. Good. Stay. <laughs> the heck? Is it like a... Man, I'm confused. I want these to be permanent. Why can't these be permanent? That's depressing. Oh, police? Military police. Oof. Man, I need to look up on how to get more. This isn't my guy. The heck. Show my guy. The heck. Whatever. I need to look up on how to get, uh, get some of that, uh, a aesthetic. Aesthetic, uh, gear. Like, a uh, So I can look cool. <laughs> I want a full-on helmet, I'm just saying. Like Call of Duty Ghosts, I want to cover my face. Like, my character's faces. I want to cover them, but it's so hard to get them because you have to do certain things. So that kind of... Oh, that's my other gripe with Call of Duty Ghosts. You had to, like, do certain challenges just to unlock them. You can't really buy them or... Or unlock them from ranking up and stuff. i rather have them, like, unlock them from ranking up. Shoot, I'd rather buy them! Then do those freaking challenges, but ranking up would be the best to unlock them. Enemy is securing the flag. <laughs> no. Taking the flag. Shoot. Medic. That guy was a medic, I think. Okay, this is more zoom. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I think there should be a. I think there should be two rounds to this. Two uh, best two out of three. UAV, where are you? Where is it? Where's the UAV? Is it enemy or friendly? Whatever. Can I go up? Nope. Can't go up there. Yeah, I, I think I would prefer regular dot side. This zooms in too much. Whoa! Let me use this. Now let me snipe first. <laughs> I got the sniper. Whoa, what the heck? What? Ah. Uh, Aw, oh man. No, I'm, I'm not sniping anymore. Let's try this. Again. Oops, keep on freaking thinking uh, my crouch is B, but I put it to tactical. Oh man. They're taking our flag. Enemy UAV online. The enemy is taking the flag. They're taking our flag. Enemy is securing the flag. Use this. Momentum reset. Taking the flag. Heck, you only have 
up to two people. Like, you have to start at two people. That sucks. The enemy is the flag. What the heck? We'll get him! Go, 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 come on. E. Oh, got him. Why did my thing blow up? Heck. Uh oh. I'm staying inside. What the? Uh oh. Whatever this is. It's like a poison thing or something, or radiation. Look like it because of the friggin' symbol on the map. I am liking the shotgun, but I think I like the Titanfall shotgun more. <laughs> okay, let's switch back to this. Oh shoot! Extended mag, so it's cool. Uh oh. Oh, I almost punched him. Okay, what happens if I go down here? Like, will I die? That's it. The heck? <laughs> I thought I would die or something. Whatever. Excel suits are good for protection, even though it doesn't seem like it. Oh, I should do that. I should stomp on them while they're capturing. Oh man, what the heck? Dude, this is going on like forever now. It's like tug of war right now. But Go, go! Oh, here. No! Yeah, you still die easy, pretty easily in this game. It's okay. Is the flag. I like this game mode. It's fast paced and all that. I think it suits this game mode. No! I wonder if there's gonna be like a. Like a. Not. Okay, what am I thinking of? Um. Not half time. Like uh, overtime. There you go. Like there's gonna only be one, and then like capture the flag in uh with Modern Warfare 2. Like in overtime. Like if they if they got it, if they got to your flag, oh, game over. They won. I wonder if there's gonna be something like that. Like if you whoever gets to it first wins. Oh, we gotta win. And it's winning. Ah! Frame drops is just lag, and that's causing frame drops. The heck? It's lag, dude. What the? You're seeing this lag? <laughs> I don't think it's me. The heck, man. 
that flag. Wait, how many points is it per kill? 50 or 100? I don't know. Let's see. I shouldn't be afraid to aim down the sides because it doesn't take away the minimap like in density. Most guns. What? My gosh. Can't even get a kill. No! Go, go, go. Shoot. Whoa. Wait, what's going on? Oh, 50, okay. Go get the flag. Either that, or it's based on like when it times out, whoever gets the momentum. I think. Ah, oh, shoot. Come on, we gotta keep it there. Can't afford to lose. Overtime, I knew it! How will this work? <laughs> trying to freak this out. What, what happened? Was it because of that explosion? I don't know. Uh oh. Oh, it's just three now, huh? Fight for the flags! Oh man, we need to get that sentry gun. That's gonna own us. Well, it's not gonna own me, but the sentry gun isn't gonna destroy me. I mean, kill me, but because I got blind. I think this is gonna. My teammates will have to have a hard time with it. The, the grenade, to launch a grenade, it's kind of slower to me, but it's like something from Black Ops too, so it's cool. So I still have the pad on my arm, right? I'm trying to do my stomp. It's so hard, there's too many dead bodies. Wonder if we could end this game tied. That'll be cool. that'll be cool. Enemy recon drone detected. Uh oh. Shoot, they're getting it. Where's my teammates? Yeah. Enemy UAV online. Oh, got him. Momentum up. Taking the flag. Go, go, go. Oh. Uh, well, I'm not 
not affected. Ha <laughs> Take that. What? No! This is going nowhere. Fall back, Atlas. Haha! <laughs> we ended the game tied. Draw. Oh man, not me. Oh, it's an enemy too. Ooh, man, right there. That's yeah, cool. Whoa, look at my score and my KDR. What the? 60 deaths. I'm 32 and 60. Yes, that's how you do it. My gosh, man, what is wrong with me? Okay, they should keep on showing that. Loot has expired. No! Oh, yeah! Woo, Goliath! Can you get out of here? Oops. Operator customization. Put this back. And let's. That's weird. Right. Have this, like this one. <laughs> okay. Um. Create a class. Oh my gosh! I want to get. I want to use this. I'm using this one instead now. Oh, trophy system, huh? Huh. That's cool. Is there any attachments? Attachments? Just that. I wonder if a wild card counts. Oh, it does count. Knew it. Nope. Any other one? Oh, there you go. I don't. I don't really like this one. This site. Oh. Wait. Site automatically zooms. Nah. Red dots be the best, probably. What other ones? I don't know. Suppressed weapon fires appears. Oh, oh, I get it. It basically here's the suppressor. See, I like this. It's got the Google Glass going on. Okay, this is it of my. My game of Halo the Master Chief Collection showing Advanced Warfare gameplay on Xbox One. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next game, which I don't, I haven't decided yet. I, tomorrow, t either Titanfall, Battlefield 4, or Call of Duty Ghosts. But I will see you next time, and I will definitely see you in Halo the Master Chief Collection. So God bless, guys. Wait, hold on. Shoot! Ah, stop pausing! Oh, snap an app. Where's Twitch? Hold on, I'm not a pro at this. <laughs> okay, thank you. Go um, hold on. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later.